Hello everyone. Welcome to the lecture series on kinematic analysis of mechanisms, graphical method 2. Under this, we are studying Coroli's component of acceleration and Klein's construction for IC engine mechanisms. We know that kinematic analysis of IC engine mechanisms can be done using Klein's construction graphical method. For Klein's construction, we have seen that there are two possibilities when the crank rotates with uniform speed and the crank rotates with non uniform speed. In the previous lecture, we have seen the procedure for kinematic analysis for uniform crank speed. Now, today, we will see the procedure for non uniform crank speed. First of all, we need to draw the configuration diagram using some suitable scale for the given dimensions of the slider crank mechanism. So consider the slider crank mechanism OCP drawn at a suitable scale for the given dimensions. Now at first, we need to perform the velocity analysis before we go for acceleration analysis. The first step is uh, the first step after the configuration diagram is to draw a line perpendicular to line of stroke. Here, the line of stroke of piston is the horizontal line, so we have drawn a line perpendicular to this line at O. Next, we extend the connecting rod to meet this perpendicular at point M. Triangle OCM represents the velocity polygon for this mechanism. Now we will extract the unknown velocities from this velocity polygon OCM. Consider omega as the speed of the crank, crank OC. Velocity of P relative to C on the connecting rod is given by the product of length of vector CM and the crank speed omega and the scale factor. Velocity of piston P is given by the length of vector OM into the crank speed omega into the scale factor. Now once the velocity polygon is completed, we will proceed for acceleration analysis. Draw the configuration diagram to some, uh, to some suitable scale. After that, complete the velocity polygon using the steps mentioned earlier I will repeat the same we will draw the line perpendicular to the line of stroke at point O extend the connecting rod to meet this perpendicular at M OCM represents the velocity polygon now for acceleration polygon identify or mark the midpoint of connecting rod PC now, taking this midpoint as the center we draw a circle passing through C. This is the circle having center as the midpoint of connecting rod PC and this circle will automatically pass through crank pin C. Next we draw the another circle with center at crank pin C and radius CM. This is the circle having center at crank pin C and radius CM. Next, we draw a line through intersecting points of these two circles and we'll name that line as line KL. Now, since the crank rotates with non-uniform speed, it will have the angular acceleration alpha. So, it will have tangential component perpendicular to the link OC, which is the radius of rotation of C relative to O. So we draw a line OO dash perpendicular to CO. Magnitude of this vector or length of this vector is given by this equation. Length OO dash equals to FTCO divided by omega square is equals to OC into alpha CO divided by omega square. We know that FTCO equals to R into alpha. So, uh, tangential acceleration of C related to O equals to radius of rotation OC 
into its angular acceleration alpha c o so o o dash perpendicular to c o of this length next we draw a line parallel to the line of stroke through o dash so this is the line parallel to the line of stroke through o dash this line will intersect line k l at n next we'll mark point q as the point of intersection of k l with the connecting rod p c we'll join o dash to c quadrilateral o dash c q n represents acceleration polygon for the given reciprocating engine mechanism in which crank oc rotates with non-uniform speed now from this acceleration polygon we will find out the values of unknown accelerations first of all for crank oc we have determined acceleration of c relative to o this acceleration has two components now first is radial component of acceleration indicated by fcco and second is tangential component of acceleration indicated by ftco radial component of acceleration or centripetal component of acceleration fcco is equals to length of vector oc into omega square into scale factor omega is the crank speed and tangential component of acceleration ftco equals to length of vector o o dash into omega square into scale factor again you will note that o o dash is perpendicular to oc as we know that vector representing radial acceleration is perpendicular to vector representing tangential acceleration Now O dash C represents the total acceleration of C relative to O. It is the sum of vector C O and O O dash. Radial acceleration plus tangential acceleration gives the total acceleration. F C O is equals to length of vector O dash C into omega square into scale factor. Next link is the connecting rod PC. For the connecting rod PC, we have determined acceleration of P relative to C, which again has two components, centripetal component and tangential component. Centripetal component of P relative to C indicated by FCPC is equals to length of vector QC into omega square into scale factor. This is the vector QC. Tangential acceleration of P relative to C is indicated by FTPC is equals to length of vector QN into omega square into scale factor. This is vector QN which is perpendicular to QC. So QC represents centripetal component and qn represents tangential component so the resultant is given by vector cn so total acceleration of p relative to c is equals to length of vector cn which is not drawn here you can join this point c to n to get the resultant vector cn so length of vector cn into omega square into scale factor gives the total acceleration of p relative to c on the connecting rod so tangential component qn centripetal component qc and total acceleration component cn last is the sliding acceleration of slider p indicated by fsp which is equals to length of vector o dash n into omega square into scale factor so when the crank rotates with non-uniform speed, we have seen that crank OC has two components, tangential O O dash, centripetal OC, and total O dash C. Connecting rod also has two components of acceleration. Connecting rod in the sense acceleration of P relative to C has two components. 
centripetal QC, tangential QN, total CN. And the slider has sliding acceleration indicated by vector O dash N. Thank you.